Hey alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty and today I am doing my second YouTuber conspiracy theory compilation. You guys really seemed to like the last one and I had a lot of fun filming it so I have some more for you guys today. I hardly ever do conspiracy theories so when I do that just means that they are conspiracy theories I really resonate with and I thought were super super interesting. I did a lot of research and I just thought that you guys would like as well. So today we have a few different YouTubers. I just want to do a disclaimer right away that this is no shade towards anyone. I'm not saying that these are factual and that they're real. Some of them are a little bit ridiculous. Some of them do make sense. However, some of them I kind of believe. Some of them I just don't know or I really don't think are true at all. So I do watch these YouTubers. I do support them. I don't want anyone to think that this is hate at all. I'm going to be explaining sort of the conspiracy theories and my personal thoughts on them as well. The first YouTuber we're going to start off with today is Sniper Wolf. That's SSS Sniper Wolf. She is a YouTube gamer. She does crazy Omegle videos. She does a lot of different stuff on her channel, but she mostly grew her following from her gaming videos. And so people have come out and said that it's fake, that she's not really the one controlling the console, that she couldn't possibly be that good. And she does mostly Call of Duty games in specific that she's really good at. So when I first heard this, I was a little bit insulted, like, okay, so a hot, attractive girl can't be good at video games. But then when I really thought about it, I was like, okay, it doesn't matter how good at gaming you are, people would just generally rather watch a hot girl be good at gaming. Kind of like the message that sex sells, you know? So it has been rumored that her husband is the one actually behind the console, like controlling the games, and she just sits there in front of the camera and acts as if she's playing. Some sort of evidence to back this up is that in one of her videos, she was playing on a PlayStation 4 controller, but the light was off as if it wasn't really on. And then in addition to that, it turns out that she was playing on a PlayStation 3 with the PlayStation 4 controller. But then to just totally contradict that one people have come out and said that it is actually possible to play on a PlayStation 3 with a PlayStation 4 controller and you can still play with the light off like there's a way to do that so technically the proof of that isn't really proof at all but for whatever reason people still don't want to believe that it's her playing the actual games maybe they're mad that a girl is that good at video games or maybe they just don't think it really adds up like it's too fishy because she is extremely attractive and it would make sense that she would split the profit with someone who's actually playing the games and she would just be the face on camera she talks she's multitasking the whole time while doing it, which maybe isn't that hard to do, but people seem to think otherwise. My personal thoughts on it, I don't necessarily believe or not believe it. I'm just kind of in the middle because I don't really watch her gaming videos. I watch her Omegle videos, etc., and I don't know anything about gaming, so I personally would have no idea if it didn't make sense the way she was like holding the console or the light on the console or whatever. Like, I just would never really add up to me in like a suspicious way. But I do think that it happens on YouTube more than you would probably think, these sort of things where someone's really behind the videos, they're doing a large part of it, not necessarily with gaming, but just with anything else, where another person's taking credit for it because they're better on camera or they're a hot female, whatever. So. I don't know. I think that it could go either way. Again, no shade to her whatsoever. She's hilarious and I love her videos so, so much. I'm definitely subscribed to her, but we're going to move on to the second conspiracy theory. And this one is really freaking out there. Trisha Paytas. People think that she is a clone of Anna Nicole Smith. If you don't know who Anna Nicole Smith is, she's basically similar to Marilyn Monroe. She's like a sex icon, actress, model. She's not alive anymore. She died in 2007 at the age of 39. And that's sort of where the conspiracy comes into play. She died super mysteriously. Again, really similar to Marilyn Monroe. Like it's kind of weird and people just kind of wrote it off as an overdose because she was really into pill popping. But at the same time, they kind of covered it up when she died. It was just really sketchy about the way that she died in the hotel room. And there are probably other videos on that on YouTube if you guys don't know anything about her death. Otherwise, I'll totally make one because I think it's super interesting. But basically, the way that she died was just really shady and people don't always necessarily believe that it was suicide or an overdose that maybe someone tried to kill her, Illuminati, whatever. A conspiracy theory is like that for pretty much every model or famous actress slash sex icon that dies, I feel like. But still, Trisha and her look very similar. Like, it's kind of scary, but a lot of people also say that's only because Trisha has done makeup to try to look like her. Like she's done sort of tutorials and just videos impersonating her on her channel because she really idolizes Anna Nicole Smith. Because of this, a lot of people have said that Trisha wants to be her so bad that she should stop copying Anna. 
But what if she really is Anna, at least to a sense, like she has her DNA. So that's why people have said that she is a clone of Anna Nicole Smith. So Anna had a son named Daniel four years before Trisha was born with her ex-husband and they split up after his birth. Five years after Trisha was born, Anna Nicole Smith was playmate of the year. In that time frame, she was trying to get big with modeling, acting, etc. If you don't believe in cloning at all, then you're gonna think this is total gibberish, but you know how Beyonce supposedly is a clone now because she got in that car accident and she died or whatever, not even trying to be disrespectful. That's just what a lot of people have come out and said with conspiracy theories. It is said that possibly Anna Nicole Smith wanted to preserve herself in case she got too deep into anything with the Illuminati, her life was at risk, etc. Trisha was created sort of as a cloned baby of herself because she wanted to preserve her career because obviously, she just got more and more famous as time went on. So that's why so many people think that they look alike, that they act alike, and that Trisha strives to be like her. People also think that they might just be related somehow, like distantly. That's probably more of a realistic conspiracy theory. But either way, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I know that one was super far-fetched. This next one sounds really far-fetched, but it's actually the one that I believe the most just because I think it's interesting and it has a long timeline of things that have happened and I think it is something that would have been covered up for sure. That is that Shane Dawson is Trisha Paytas' brother, half brother to be exact. And that sounds so insane, right? But I'm gonna talk about it. So as you may or may not know, Shane Dawson's parents are divorced and it has been rumored or allegedly said that his dad cheated on his mom and that was another reason why they got divorced in addition to him abusing alcohol. So because of that, people think that Trisha Paytas may have been the result of a love child from Shane Dawson's dad and Trisha Paytas' mom. So the stuff that sort of backs this up or makes this theory more convincing is the fact that Trisha was born two months before Shane. That means that if this is true, the affair was most likely happening right before or around the time that Shane's mother found out she was pregnant with Shane. So it's like, do you really wanna tell your wife that you got another woman pregnant right when she finds out that she's pregnant with your kid? I don't think so. So that's a huge reason why this might've been a well-kept secret. So as time goes on and Shane's YouTube career continues, he said that he got back in contact with his dad, that he tried to make amends with his father because they never really had a good relationship. Around that time, is when conspiracy theorists think that he figured out about Trisha, that his dad told him about Trisha Paytas and that that was his half sister. So also around this time was when Trisha and Shane, like shortly after this, started putting out videos together. And in one of Shane Dawson's podcasts with Trisha, Trisha admits, like she comes out and says, like they're talking about how Shane really launched her YouTube career. He was the one who really showed her the ins and outs of YouTube and got her going with it. And at the time, Trisha, she was a stripper and there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying that's what she was doing at the time. And it really kind of makes you question why Shane, out of like anyone at that strip club or really anywhere in the world, why he would like pick apart her and want to make her famous. It makes you kind of get the idea that maybe he wanted a better life for his sister. And obviously she's very talented. She has the YouTube sort of personality. Like it all lines up. I'm not saying that he is responsible for her success. But a big reason why he wouldn't want to come out and say that she is his sister is because people would say that her YouTube career was handed to her and also it would make his father look really bad. Maybe his mother doesn't know if this is true. Obviously this is all allegedly, this is a conspiracy theory, but I think this one is so interesting and I think it makes so much sense because it's like, honestly, why? Like as amazing as Trisha is, when you were just getting to know her, why did he want so badly to help her launch her YouTube career? They had done so many collabs together, spent so much time together publicly, but never had any sort of romantic thing going on at all. And I mean, maybe that's just by choice. Like they're not interested in each other. If they're not related, like that's gross, but it sort of looks like a sibling type of relationship. They definitely act like brother and sister and people could say that, oh, you know, that's because they're best friends. They're like brother and sister, but it just sort of makes you question because even when you have those brother relationship, like sister relationship with your best guy or girlfriend, usually there's some type of romantic chemistry that happens at some point or another. But with them, they've always just been like solid collabing together, having this brother sister relationship. And it really makes you think that maybe he just wanted a better life for her. He found out about her. He went to visit her. He saw her, he talked to her and then they decided to keep it a secret so he could help get her on her feet and not have it be this big huge scandal. Another piece of evidence that sort of backs this up is Trisha's song Lost and Found because the lyrics sort of make it look like she's talking about figuring out Shane is her brother and that Shane's dad is her dad. Once upon a time I was a little girl who looked up but never found what should be mine. If only I knew I had him with me from earth. Oh he blessed me because he put me on this earth because he put me on this earth. Her dad obviously put her on this earth. Her dad and her mom. Unless she's talking about God or something I don't 
know how else to take those lyrics. I don't know. It just sort of adds to the conspiracy. It makes it a little bit more fun when you look at those lyrics that kind of back up this conspiracy. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Call me crazy, but I actually really believe that one. Now, the last and final conspiracy theory I'm going to be talking about today is the YouTube Red Show Prank Academy. You guys have probably heard of it. It's really popular and they have a lot of YouTuber guest stars on it, like Joey Graceffa, Superwoman, etc. And so that show, someone came out and said, who appeared to be on the show, it looked as if he was playing the security guard, but they were never able to confirm it was actually him, but it looked like he was in the episode with Superwoman. He said that he was paid $180 to be in the episode and that it was staged. He thought he was going to be in a commercial and that the pranks weren't real. Tons of prank channels on YouTube have been exposed for staging their pranks and faking them. So I wouldn't be too surprised if this was the case, but like I said, this could have been any random guy. They never confirmed 100% it was him and he could have just been making stuff up like you don't really know but it still kind of makes you question the reputableness of that YouTube red show after hearing that and I'll insert the clip you know Frank you, you know you know Frank Academy yeah you ever watch Frank Academy yeah Jesse Frank Academy yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, YouTube red yeah have you seen the one with uh Superwoman yeah yeah oh shit I'm a security guy you're the security guy there oh I'm a security guy in the video for it? Uh, all those prank shows are fake, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, was it Just fake? Insurance see my, see my, see my huh? Insurance, they used to be real back in the 80s. I, no, I'll take it. Oh, shit. You were the security guy? Yeah, I'm the security guy. Wow. Oh, oh, they, they took they took a couple of takes, right? I was supposed to be the customer. And then they, they it was fake? The whole thing was fake? Yeah. Do you guys, how many takes did you guys take at least? One take. One take? What? Was how much did they easy? pay you? So again, I don't really know regarding any of these. These are just theories. I am not saying that any of this information is 100% true or solid or that there aren't things that can contradict everything I just said because these are theories. There are holes in them sometimes. But I do think that sometimes these things can be true. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm really, really curious. And let me know which one was your favorite. I will make more of these if you guys still seem to be liking these types of videos because I enjoy them and I think they're really interesting. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you are notified when I put out part three of this series. And follow my social media if you guys want to. I will see you guys next time. Later, alligators. Bye.